Welcome to Retro Restore, a copycat channel. Yeah, so I'm sorry about that a little bit, Martin. It was just a bit of fun, poking a bit of fun at you. Mr. Mower Man. And you can see there's one, two, three. So this is my mower that he uses in the garden. So it's not going anywhere. And uh, Amir, like you, Martin, has uh, got into the... He's bought this mower, runs perfectly, and it's got the drive on it. And he's bought this one, which has not got drive on it, but uh, both of the engines run really well. He bought this um, sat nav, what's it called? Medion, Medion GoPal. And this uh, all works. This, is, this has got just every country in Europe on it, so he's really happy with that. He's put it in the car and tried it. The jigsaw works great. And uh, he bought the lot for 50 euro. So he's pretty happy with it. The decks on him are really good. There's, uh, this one just throws it out the side, but there's a basket for that one. But it's a really good neck. He's just cleaned the dust back on it, you can see. It's pretty tidy. So he's getting into the resto restore. I think he's got an idea to sell them in the summer in Bosnia. And uh, yeah. So thanks for getting my man into lawnmowers, Martin. That's really good. I prefer him to get in, to be, be more into the cars, but if he can make a bit of money on the side, good luck to him. Good little buy though, I reckon. 50 euro for that lot. I mean, you'd pay that for a jigsaw, I would think. Well, it's not a particularly good make, but even so. But all that for, so, four items for, I oh know, five. He got this uh, thing, I don't know what it is, some kind of whiskey. Little, I think it's a little light, a little side light. I think that came with it as well. Anyway, so, that's our little uh, dedication to Resto Restore. Martin, you should have a look at his channel. He does some brilliant stuff. And he's got another one called Retro Hacks where he, where he uh, doesn't do any um, voiceover on it, but he just shows uh, tools that he's, that he's done. And he's uh, taken it from rusty, not working to being perfect. So, okay, just to let you see, this is, so this is the, the handle we talked about with the, with the Mini. So now you can open this and pull it down. Um, and you can see he's just made up that onto a, but it's got the sponge all the way around it now and it fits really nice, no, no vibration. There's black carpet in to go over this and obviously I'll cut those bolts down there because they look a bit crappy. I did them in the front, but I'll do them ones as well um, to make it look nice. But the panel will be covered so you wouldn't actually see it. Um, so we've got a few uh, issues we need to fix up. And what we're going to do now is, he's working on the bottom, as you can see here. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the tank out, because we have to take that light out and that light out. And you might be able to see, I think you will easily, you can see that there's some quite bad marks in there where the where the slip was replaced and I never noticed them so that's a problem when you're doing a full restoration this you get so much to do that you can easily miss stuff but how he painted over that and never noticed it I don't know anyway so there's that one um, as I said he's doing the he's doing the underneath now and we're going to fix up this lip as well. The lip's not right. We're going to cut that back a little bit. And then we'll get it all painted in one shot. But here, hopefully this will show up. I don't know if it, maybe it will if I turn the camera. Here, there's a very bad mark here. So I'm going to get, we'll do this as well. Do that, do all the finishing. Get it absolutely spot on. Put a bit of primer on it. And then uh, we'll get it back there and uh, Get it paint repainted again. So yeah, um, and the I'll show you the um, the black mini. Uh, we're just getting ready now to um, the arches are done, lead loaded. And what we need to do now is the um, stone chip inside the arches and uh, the engine bay and a few other little places. We're going to do it, um, and then we can start priming the underneath white prime the inside and the rest of the body once the once it's finished up um, so yeah so the, the reason the boots off was obviously to get into that but more importantly again the same situation the guy 
I, you know, it's very di difficult. You might be able to see, I don't know, there. Yeah, you can. If I do, ah, there you can see it. You can see this? It's starting to come through. So that's going to have to be cut back. There's a couple of places. There's one here, there's a, like a little. I'll get stand out the light, you might be able to see it. Really, really move the camera around, but there's a little indentation there. There's a mark on it there, a dust fleck mark. Uh, and on this side, there's another. It's a bit dirty at the moment, but there's a little. See that imperfection there? It's not right. There's something, something quite, not quite right there. You can, ah, you can see it there. The problem is, is when you've got the number plate on or the, or the number plate holder, it takes your eye off a lot of these things. So we'll get all this done and uh, and then we'll get it for painting again. So I'll take you down and show you the other mini. As you can see, this is a bit of a problem we've got with our ground here. There's some really bad roots in it and obviously we can't go picking uh, you know, 4,000 square metres. This is quite a lot. Well, it's actually not 4,000 if you take the pool out of the equation, but it's pretty bad. So, um, we've tried, to, we've come up with this idea. So, it's it's not just uh, Amina that comes up with good ideas. I do, but it's a bit Heath Robinson, but it works. So, and what we did initially was we tried putting these bars onto here, but obviously, uh, if the ground's undulated, which it is, it's a problem. So, we come up with this idea of using a tube inside it. So that this this actually articulates up and down, and we're going to give you a flash demo now. Want to go on? Show him. Show him how it works. Oh, you want to drive and and the mirror? It's up to you. Does Refka weigh more than you, or you weigh more than Refka? I do. Who weighs the most? So this is the technique. You can see. Gathers the grass up real nice. There you go. Perfect. Look at that. And then all we do is, and all we do then is lift it up and pull all this crap out of it. There you go. Look at that. And it works a treat. And you can see it's come pulled right out from the roots. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. There you go. Hang on, you got it? Yeah, yep. And then it puts it in there. Yeah, it works. It works uh, it's pretty sweet. We only need it twice a year. It's a bit of Heath Robinson, but it'll, but it'll do the trick. Um, and the idea is we'll use it in what March, won't it? March or April yeah, yeah. at the start of the season, and use it at the end of the season. But um, what's actually causing all this crappy weed to get in there? We're not sure whether it's been wind blown or possibly mowing up there on the other side of the house and, br and then bringing it in on the tractor or we don't know exactly what it's doing it but it's been particularly bad this year so there you go it's uh it works to a fashion it's uh as i said it's Beast robinson it, it does the trick so yeah so this is uh the garage opening up a bit it was a bit cold down here this morning uh, that's where we made the thing up for the tractor. So you can see uh, what we're going to do now is everything's corked up. What we'll do now is we'll do all the engine bay and the body shut for this. It's a bit dusty in here. Get all the inner, inner wings done, all here, all the front bulkhead, everything. Um, and then we can then take off this jig on the front and body shuts all the inside of the the engine bay. And do the inner wings now, it doesn't matter about getting overspray on these, it's no big deal. And then you can see both both arches are in there. Both on either side. Um, there's a couple of little bits and pieces to do. And the back's coming on. And uh, yeah, just push the jig up to one side of the moment. You can see there, I need to get in and just weld that bit, but I'll wait until I take that off. But that's that bit that I made, that uh, extension bar. So, yeah, well, that's it for today. Um, 
bit of garden, a bit, bit of minis and so on and so forth. So we'll catch you, um, I guess, in the, when we've got some more done on the mini, because the, tomorrow we have to go to the dump with the, with the main trailer and we'll, uh, and we'll get all this done. Get all the grass sorted out. And, and basically, as I said, what's going to happen is we're going to put a, in here, um, I can buy um, a, 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 basically a tent, it's, a, it's a outside for storage facility. And they say that the canvas is, that the tent canvas is good for five years and ten years, I think, for the frame, but it's galvanised anyway. But it'd be 12 metres by five. Um, so we've got black ground sheets we'll put in for this year, and then next year we'll put uh, concrete slabs under it, but we'll put concrete slabs under the uh, under the main uprights. Um, I think they're quite high too. I think they're about four meters high. So we'll be able to get the Volkswagen transporter or the Volkswagen uh, combi four x four with a mini on the back of that, the trailer with a mini in the back of that, and all the boxes of spares all in there, which will leave this place empty for the XK. Um, and obviously this one will be up in Vienna by then to get ready to go for the, to the paint shop. So when it's finished we'll probably store it up in the main garage. So that's it for today, so as usual, take care, uh, stay safe, keep the faith and uh, do your hobby, whatever it is. Stamp collecting, cars, yeah, setting fire to things, who knows. Bye for now, bye.